Good morning, everybody. Eugene Bear on YouTube and Facebook. Actually, Bernie Bear on the musical stage when I'm playing bass or in the old days, I used to race stock cars. And I'm wearing this hat because I'm half blue blood English to the Farnham Castle and half Scottish McAndrew Highlander. And yes, I do know my tartan kilt colors. Green coffee. Coffee's warm today. Right out of the microwave. I put out a quiz question. I'm going to do some new ones. It's quiz time is what I said, and I put it out on Facebook. And here was the quiz question for all you senior students out there. And I'm not talking about age. I'm just talking about uh, you go beyond reading to studying. Here's the question. And, and then I'm going to read in Acts about Saul Paul, the first time we run into him in Acts. And we know that the doctor, Luke, the historian, is the writer of the history book of the Acts of the Apostles. Back to Saul Paul. Here's the question. From the time of his conversion, conversion, the flashing light from heaven that knocked everybody to the ground, and a voice that spoke to them from glory or from heaven, seeing no man, just hearing a voice, how many days before he returned to Jerusalem? And the scripture says in Revised Standard, several or many and my, and it's it, the answer is in the New Testament. How many days from being struck to the ground and blinded outside of Damascus was Paul in Damascus before he went up to Jerusalem or back to Jerusalem? He went south and up the mountain to the city of Jerusalem, which he came from, because he went to the priest's Hood, got letters to enter the synagogues in Damascus, and he found any men or any women of the new sect called the Way. And there is an organization called the Way. I do not promote that organization, but I do teach back to the Jews that came out of the new sect called the Way in Jerusalem, dispersion up to Antioch in Syria, and then the headquarters beginning in 50 A.D. in Ephesus, Asia Minor, for the next 70 or 50 to 70 to 200 or 225 A.D., just before the Catholic Church put their thing together and took everybody in as quickly as possible, all pagan holidays, the Council of Nicaea, 325 A.D., where Christianity starts. I teach back before Christianity to the Christ-anointed church that began at Antioch and had headquarters in Ephesus. Back to the question. Three minutes here. I'm watching my watch over here and only trying to teach five to six minutes, trying to shorten all the teachings. So therefore, Saul comes on the scene when Stephen gets stoned, and he holds the garments of, he's called a young man. You can be a young man in Judaism and be in your late 20s or early 30s. Uh, he's called a young man. He consents to Stephen's death. And then we hear of Philip doing miracles. This is at the end of the seventh chapter of Acts and into the beginning of the eighth chapter. We run into Saul, Saul Paul of Tarsus. His city that he was born in and raised in is connected with his name, Saul of Tarsus, Paul of Tarsus, okay? Then we go over to Acts 9, and we read here about the new sect called the Way. And you, you found them in the synagogues, standing, raising their hands, calling on Messiah Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If you did that in a synagogue, Paul would arrest you, Okay and put you in prison before his conversion. Saul, still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord, 
went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues at Damascus, so that if he found any belonging to the way, men or women, he might bring them to Jerusalem. Okay, so he journeyed, and then suddenly a light from heaven flashed, and he fell to the ground. They heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? And he said, Who are you, Lord? And he said, I am Yeshua. Capital Y, small a, capital H, dash, small s, capital H, U A, Yahshua. There's a whole lot of teaching right there. And he did not say Jesus at this time. And I can prove it by scripture. All right, then if we flip over, six minutes. I got to end. Read all the way to uh, Acts 26. Paul was led over the wall in a basket. And when he had come to Jerusalem, all right? And in Acts, and that's the question for today, Acts 9.19, several days. How many days was Paul at Damascus before he went back to Jerusalem or went up to Jerusalem? I love you. It's quiz time. The Holy Spirit of truth is alive, can speak to you in thought, in your mind. He loves you too. Eugene Bear, bye.